I'm the guy, I'm the digital media champion. So, uh, so he wants to put his career up against my digital media title. I think that's unfortunate. I didn't want to have to be the guy to end Tommy Dreamer's career, but two for ones, two hey. for Bogos, this baby. This is the word to go, yo. Hello, everybody. Welcome to God TV. Yes, that is a hashtag. Don't forget. And welcome to our show. Welcome our great show. Don't forget to, you know, give that likey, likey, thumbs up. Let us know that you're, you're enjoying the show. And the more likes we get, we're going to bring back our live chat after God TV. You never know. Surprises. Never know. Surprises, right? And don't forget to subscribe, you guys. Subscribe down below. Yes, live chatters. While you're in there, I'm noticing how many people are in the chat and they're not subscribed or they didn't like the click the like yeah. liking. Do it. Do it. And our favorite is ring that bell. <laughs> and if you guys do notice, uh, Mickey James is not here. Um, uh, we're not graced with her presence. She's at Cauliflower Alley in Vegas and getting in a great, great award. We'll, we'll have we'll have the updates at another episode, um, but the show must go on. Sometimes yes. it's not going to be available, right? Yeah. You know, we're busy bees, you guys. We're busy. And I will say a big cheers to Mickey. Congratulations, Cauliflower Alley Club. Look at that cauliflower. We love cauliflower. Mm. I, I, it's bad not to not drink when you cheers. Oh, is it? Is it? And no eye contact, too. Okay. And also, too, you guys, Cauliflower Hour, they inducted me in the Hall of Fame over there. JR inducted me. Hall of me. Famer. Cauliflower yeah. Alley Club. That is a Yay, huge, huge honor. Cauliflower. I know one time they inducted um, Cherry Taylor. Like, it's a very prestigious award. And as uh, Lisa mentioned, Mickey's going to be back here. And next week, we can get all of the juicy, juicy info on what happened at Cauliflower Alley Club. Again, congratulations to both of you for being inducted. And I will say that uh, we have a lot of things going on for our YouTube members. A special hello to our YouTube members. If you're watching this show, let us, let us know how you enjoy it. But... Also, you should be aware that there are longer versions of this show, of every show. The juicy, juicy version is available to our YouTube members. Go see what other perks we have. We've also been sharing some behind the scenes uh, footage of myself and Miss Mickey James in London. She was in town for Rev Pro. I was in town, of course, I live near London and I was doing progress wrestling and we got to hook up. We went to some of the um, fabulous bars in Soho. Big thank you to Ave Mario and Covent Garden. We had a delicious meal. You guys will see some of that on our YouTube exclusives because we had the meal of a lifetime. They even sang happy birthday to Mickey James. It was hilarious. So again, lots of perks from our YouTube memberships. Now, Lisa, we have a long and storied fabulous history with a company called Impact Wrestling. We like to call it TNA because we're old school. Old school! Old school. And uh, one of our faves from Impact Wrestling is here tonight to discuss the huge milestone that is 1,000 episodes of Impact Wrestling. So without further ado, please welcome your digital media champion. We love him. He's a grown ass man. And he's here to discuss Impact Wrestling's 1,000th episode. Please welcome Kenny King to the show. Hello, hello. I'm marking out. I love Kenny King. This is so exciting. Oh, we love okay. you. We love you. Well, I love you ladies. It's, been, it's great to see both of you. You look fabulous. Do you have a little beverage? Because we're about to ask you some serious questions. I, did, I didn't know it was that kind of party. I should have got some water, but hold on. I got I got some tequila. Hold on. I got one shot of tequila. Oh my God. All right. right. Oh. Hold on. We'll wait here, yes. you guys. So as Kenny's going to get a tequila, please let us know in the live chat what you're imbibing on tonight. We used to ask that. We kind of got out of the habit. But what are you imbibing on tonight? Whether it's tea or water or a little cocktail yeah. mocktail, let us know. And if you're just watching for the first time, we are live on Wednesdays at 5 p.m. Eastern. If you're watching on replay, know that we're in the live chat room every week. So come join us. There he is. There you go. All right. So this is, uh, I'm breaking the seal on like a little, uh, I like a little tequila, like a little uh, souvenir that I got from Mexico. Yes. So I wasn't. So this is the only thing I got to drink in the house because I just got back from Roach. So perfect. Uh, well, Lisa, go ahead and do the honors. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Cheers. So we start the show with what you're drinking, and what you're wearing, and you are our guest of honor. You already said what you're drinking, the little souvenir. But what you're wearing? What you're wearing? Um, you know, nothing, something slight, like just a little Lonsdale top. I, I know, I know, you know, this over across the pond, their, uh, their vow. So like a little Lonsdale athletic wear and, uh, and shout out to 1836 Kratom, my sponsors. Oh, we love Ooh. that. 
Hello, hello, London. Well, while you do your shot, I think we'll all say cheers because we love Kenny King. We're so excited to have you here for every reason because you're awesome, but also cheers to 1,000 episodes of Impact Wrestling. We have so many memories with you. Cheers to that. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Absolutely. Val, what are you wearing? What are you wearing? What are you drinking? You know what? I found these adorable Amazon tops that have those. Remember Kelly Kelly was showing us her tops that have these little thingies? You got to send me the link. I will. It's actually very cool for me. You know, I'm very preppy and I put lots of like girly stuff on top, but I thought that, I thought it was kind of cool. I don't know. Yeah. I'm trying to be cool. I've got um, just a gazillion uh, ridiculous pieces of jewelry on a little vintage headband from Paris. And I'm drinking a Provence rosé. Feeling very French tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Uh-huh. <laughs> Euroval. It's Euroval. She's here. Yes. How about I you, am, Lisa? I, I am um I actually got this hat, Puerto Rico, you know, um, um when I did a New York signing with Richie at Wrestling Universe. Um oh. uh Sunset Flip podcast. Um they gave me he came to my signing, he gave me my Puerto Rican hat. Um, he still has a story about me. Tune in because we how we first met at a show because he was Puerto Rican. He was wearing a Puerto Rican hat. But I'm, I'm wearing this. Shout out to Sunset Flip Podcast. And I'm just wearing just simple black because um, we're going to go ride our bikes after this. I have to go to the post office and just run Lovely. some errands. And I'm I'm drinking um, little 14 hands. Uh, just, just because Mickey James is not here. She's at Cauliflower Alley again. Um, to getting an award. Um, Forty hands said a little horse on it. So there you go, Mickey. Oh, um, she's here in spirit. She's here. Well, in she's spirit. actually here in Vegas. I didn't. <laughs> she is. You oh, there might be an after party. You better hit her up. I'll tell you that. All right. All there right. He yes. There he is. Oh mm-hmm. my gosh. And Kenny, I I heard you have a little beef um, with my brother, uh, Tommy Dreamer. What 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 is the scoop? What is spill what, the tea? The yeah, what's this? I mean, like? you know, the T is just that I just see, you know, like Dreamer is uh, is a guy that I I grew up idolizing. I love the innovator of violence, and then I loved, you know, his the ECW and then and, and everything that he stood for. But I just feel like, you know, I'm in the spot where Dreamer was at, and uh, and and in order for and. In order for me to get to my Tommy Dreamer, my legendary status, you know, sometimes I don't got the way. And some of these guys, you know, it's unfortunate. They just want to stick around for the the autograph signings and the and the the, the conventions and the, you know the nostalgia bookings and and you know I mean sometimes baby it's just time to gracefully bow out. Just know when, know when to, right? Isn't that right? She she, she wants to get involved. Oh, in oh how sweet! You think that you your book boys? What's 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 her name? That's a beautiful cat. This this is Eva, ladies. Oh, she loves you. Look how sweet she is. Yeah, she she's very, very oh, sweet. So basically, you're saying he needs to move out of the way. Thomas the Dreamer, who is also on God TV, catch that replay here on YouTube, guys. So you wanted to move out of the way, but he ain't budging. That's what I'm hearing. No, no. He doesn't want to move. I mean, so I, if you won't move, you got to move him. You got to move. You know what? And we have been following this because obviously it's, it's getting very personal. It's a lot of bad blood, but it sounds like it's all going to come to a head because the thousandth episode of Impact Wrestling is coming up. Gosh, that makes me feel old. That's a huge milestone, though. And you, as the digital media champion, you're putting your title on the line, and he's putting his career on the line. How did this get so heated? Like, how did it get to this point? I mean, it, Tommy and I do have a personal relationship. It's not like it's just two guys, you know, and just yelling at each other on a microphone. Uh, and, it, and it got heated really more backstage. And, and, and then there's some things coming up on some future episodes of Impact that everybody will see. Um, so uh, it just got personal because it is personal. It is a thing where, uh, you know, Tommy took exception to what I did to Johnny Swinger uh, afterward, which is just a message, man. I'm just sending a message, which is nothing that Tommy Dreamer wouldn't do, right? Would Nothing that the innovator of violence wouldn't do. Uh, so I just took exception to somebody telling me, um, you know, it, it's like the, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll throw a crazy one out. It's like the, 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 the song, oh, excuse me, well, I mean, you're in the way. Um, it's like the song uh, Guilty Conscience, where, where uh, Dr. Dre is trying to tell Eminem, you know, you need to be this way, you need to be this way. And Eminem's like, no, bro, I'm just being like you. So uh, that's, that's just kind of what's going on, where Tommy's trying to give me all this advice and how I should be, when I'm just like, hey, man, I'm just following in your footsteps and he doesn't see it that way so man it's gonna get personal uh and uh and then the career thing like all right man well he didn't have anything out i wanted other than that because i i'm the guy i'm the digital media champion so uh so he wants to put his career up against 
my digital media title. I think that's unfortunate. I didn't want to have to be the guy to end Tommy Dreamer's career, but two for ones, two hey, for bogos, sure. baby. We like bogos around here, Bogo. right? We love a bargain. And you didn't ask yeah. for this role, but you'll play it. And we're going to see how it all plays out on Impact Wrestling. Of course, we're, we've been watching. Hopefully you guys are too. It is going to be heated, but it's it's an amazing um, feud that's going on. And we love you both. But obviously, Kenny, we've, yeah. we've known you for years and we've had so many great memories and impact with you. And just some highlights we can think of here. I mean, you had a, your first run in Impact was with MVP and Bobby Lashley. You you had a Bachelorette appearance. There's so many things that you've done, but what are you most particularly tr- proud of with Impact Wrestling, some of the highlights for you personally? Uh, to start off, I think one of the things that, that will always uh, be uh, just like right there up there in my career, regardless of where it was, but it just happened so it was at Impact, was uh, like, like I was saying, like I'm a big ECW fan, like 14 year old Kenny, uh loved was 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 glued to the sunshine network if you know you know uh shout out to florida um was glued to the sunshine network to see ecw every friday night and uh and watching guys like tommy dreamer and and taz and, and rob van dam and getting to win the X the, like the fabled storied x division championship from rob van dam from a guy who i've watched since i was since i was 14 year old kenny and and just idolized and and just was 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 just humbled and and honored to be in the same ring with him and then to turn around and beat him for the exhibition championship so that's one of the things um probably but probably my favorite uh it'll always be be down clan it'll always be working with mvp and bobby and joe and 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 loki because it wasn't like uh, it wasn't like they just threw a bunch of guys who, okay, you guys, you guys look cool, like stick together and like do this thing. It was like one of the the times where I got to work with like my friends and we got to really like portray like our relationship and and the things that we would do and how we are uh, off camera and off and out of the ring. Got to bleed into like how our you know how we are in the ring, and I think that's why it worked out so well and and yeah. why it's so popular. It's amazing, like to be able to work with your best friends. Like it, it, it's it's not work. Cause you get to hang out and then drive together to the next town and go over, Hey, what do we want to do next? Like, let's, 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 let's up the bar. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's always great that when, when I get asked, like, who's your favorite match with, it's always with my best friends because you can kind of lay it in a little bit more. <laughs> just, you know, you're not really trying to hurt somebody, but you're just like, okay, they know that I'm not out to get them and that kind of stuff. And you're just willing to go put your body on the line. You know what I mean? And I 100%. thought you guys were Tommy, I thought maybe you just didn't say hi in catering. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do it. That'll do it. You didn't say hi to me, damn it. Yep. yep. I mean, with Tommy, you never know, right? You never uh, but know. You're absolutely right, Lisa. Like, uh, it, it, it's the other thing I can add to that is like things just come up more organically when you're working with your friends and you're, and you're close to the people that you're working with. The things that that happen naturally uh, mean more because it's just like, wow, that's that's exactly what would happen. You know, and, and realism is, is always a goal here. Well, adding to your highlights, because there are so many, it's like, how much time do we have? Uh, adding to the highlights of Impact Wrestling and, and your illustrious career, you had an amazing match with Speedball Bailey. And I know people in the chat were wondering about that. What was that experience like? It got a lot of buzz. Uh, I mean, the, the fight pit, the fight, fight pit, I think it was fight pit. Uh, the fight pit match was just the combination of, uh, of of some some serious beef between Speedball and I. Uh, and you know, it, it when the competition is that high, Speedball is, is a world, world-class world athlete, world-class pro wrestler. Uh, and you know, it was over the X Division Championship, but sometimes like over championships, you know, become second place to actual like personal competition. So it became one of those things. Speedball is a, is a very accomplished martial artist. A lot of people try to sleep on my martial arts skills, but they don't know I've got Taekwondo and Capoeira and Jiu Jitsu under my belt as well. And it was one of those things where I had to, uh, you know, I, I, I had to Kenny King it up a little bit. I may or may not have gone to his, his dojo and beat up a few of his students. Details are sketchy. We don't know. Whatever, but, man. Um, Stuff happens. But yeah, it was one of those things. May or may not have, by the way. He's just covering a whole thing. It might have happened, allegedly. I was was there when you um, fought him. And I, you came backstage and I go, I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you do it. Honestly, it was an amazing match. Um, I'm a huge Speedball fan as well because of his background and stuff like that. He's such a nice person. Very soft-spoken. People don't know him, you know? But I think he's a jerk. Or an amazing athlete. Kenny's not a fan. I think he's a jerk, but but I, but you know it's okay. I, I get, I get it. 
but yeah, it was, uh, it was one of those things where I was very happy and, uh, and, and really excited to kind of have that, um, uh, it's, it's first time something like that has ever happened in impact wrestling a match with no ropes and and you know i'm a i'm an i'm an 80s kid so kickboxer and blood sport and all of those things are they run through my veins and my pop culture brain um so to be able to do that uh in a, in a great venue like center stage atlanta the fans were amazing uh it the the, present, the presentation of it it looked great on tv and and it was an absolute war me, me and speedball went in there and we tore it up sure did and you mentioned the fans. I mean, Impact Wrestling has some of the most loyal fans in the world, and we love them so much. Even to this day, people will go, oh, I remember TNA and the Jay Lethal storyline. They, they've they stuck through, you know, all these years. And again, a thousand episodes is, is mind boggling. But Kenny, we got to ask if we're going to, you know, just between us, if we're going to spill the tea, Lisa and I are always, and Mickey as well, but Mickey's usually there. We always want to ask people from the new era of Impact Wrestling what it's like now. But you were in the era that we were in. Plus yes. you're there now. How has it changed from like, you know, when we were there? Like what's what's yeah. new, what's improved, what's different? How, how's how's the vibe in the locker room? Uh, I mean, I feel like the biggest vibe difference is that it's more of a uh there's more players in the office. I, I think that that's that and that was a big thing that uh in our era we were kind of fighting for and we wanted and we, 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 you know, it was like, we need some people who know what it's like. We need some, some actual veterans some people who've, who've lived this life to be making decisions. Right. Uh, other than people who, you know, who mean well and have, um, you know, experience and background and, and, and other things, but that doesn't necessarily translate into pro wrestling. So uh, I feel like initially, like off, off the top, like when I first came in uh, almost two years ago, which is crazy. Um, the the main thing is just like you know Scott being there, and Gail and and D'Lo. These are people that have you know decades of pro wrestling experience, and and yeah. it's it's some it's and very storm, comforting. Like, there's so many. It's like having the boys in the office, like the boys. Yes. That's how it should be. I think. As wrestlers, I think so too. Because remember back in the day, like um, when they would just hire like soap opera writers and all that kind of stuff, and you're like, you don't even know this business. They don't know wrestling. Yeah. Right. Right. I mean, right. Can, and that can work out in some ways, but in a lot of ways it doesn't. And I think that that is something different that, yeah, I, I, I love that. And I saw a little bit of that. This is now going back years, but uh, in New Orleans, I went to an impact show and like Gail was like doing things like in charge backstage. And I was like, this is so cool. And Christy was there. Sanjay at the time was there. And he's like, now I have a clipboard. They're letting me do things. And I was like, that's so cool. Why? No I'm kidding. I love Sanjay. And I was just like, wow, like, are we old enough now? That, like, even like Sanjay in that kind of era, like, they're now helping with ideas and producing and they've been there and they know the history of the company. Kenny, would you ever see yourself kind of doing things on that side of the, of the coin? Obviously you have got so much left in the tank and you're an amazing athlete, but could you ever see yourself kind of going behind the camera? Oh, of course. I feel like that is uh that's just a natural progression for us when our bodies are like, Hey man, <laughs> you can, you can either stop this or we, or you can not stop it and we'll stop for you. Yeah. Um, but if you love this business and, and you, and you love the product uh, and I feel like that is something, and, and, and especially like if, it's one of those things where you want to give back, right? And 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 the, I think that's the most immediate way to kind of bring it all full circle is to step behind the camera and maybe be a producer for matches or just try to make that the product uh, is, is just as as great as it can be. And I think that's just a natural progression, and and it's something that that I've, I've definitely thought about, and and you know, and even made made some asked some questions about when I'm done. But I ain't, uh, like you said, I got I've got a lot left in the tank. Oh, yeah. There's just, no, there's no such thing as retirement in, in wrestling. And that's nope. when, when I, like, for me, I'm like, you know, people are like, do you want to get back in the ring? And I go, no, I want to help the new talent out. Yeah. I, I, mm -hmm. I it to Scott Demore, but he said, Tommy Dreamer and myself can't work together because Tommy doesn't get anything done because we joke around too much. That's, so I, that's I, fair. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that sucks. I just heard this when I saw Tommy last and I go, <laughs> what? It'd be oh, too much man, giggling. I yeah, yeah, two, <laughs> that kind I of can stuff. See that. Oh my God, you guys together, be hysterical. But you mentioned like young talent. Can, Kenny, out, can, yeah. I, oh, let me, uh, can I mark out for for reals? For reals. Yeah. I saw Kenny. I am a huge bachelor and bachelorette and bachelor in paradise. All that, that just nitty gritty. When I saw you get out of the freaking limo and I'm like, I worked with him. <laughs> oh my God, my boyfriend and I are huge fans of it, right? Yeah, uh, but remember me talking to you? I go, so what, like, yeah, and I, I, I marked out that, you know, 
was that real and all that kind of stuff but man and you were you were so sad because you're you were missing your daughter you know what i yeah, mean but yeah. can you tell me like without like stooging it you know we do, we like to have wrestling real too and like um not spoiling everything but i wanted to really believe that you you fall in love i'll be honest with you in that short amount of time but um what was your experience like there well my whole thing was like uh I was open to the opportunity, open to the experience. Like, was I saying, okay, I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna meet her and I'm gonna fall, I'm gonna make her love me. I swear she gonna love me, right? Like, <laughs> you know, it, it wasn't That's one of those things. Love. Uh, it's just one of those things where I was like, listen, if this is where I happen to meet the woman that I, that I fall in love with, then cool, I'm open to that opportunity. Um, and it's, uh, nobody ever handed me a script or handed me or said, hey, I need you to say this or stand here or be this or do that. Um, okay. I think that at this stage, they have it all down to science as far as casting and, and psychology and say, okay, we need him because he's going to probably irritate him and she might, he might like her. So there's a lots of different things that are probably um, considered uh, other than, you know, love and, 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 and all of those things. There's some entertainment aspect of it also, but I can say, um, I mean, Rachel, for my season, Rachel and Brian are still together. Shout out to Rachel Lindsay, shout out to Brian. Um, like they're, they're still together and, and it's six, seven years later. So, uh, sometimes it works for the most part, like it doesn't work out, but, but, uh, my season, they were still together and, um, and, and I can, I can see how, uh, it can be a thing that works out. I mean, like you get to date, like on these great dates and go on vacation. Yeah. And, like if you if you happen to, uh, like it, even for my season of Paradise, like Kevin and Astrid are still together. They're on, I think, baby number two. So um, that's even a, a even better uh, situation because we get to go to Mexico. Yeah. And... Better. Which one do you have a more of a good time? The ba the Bachelor or or Bachelor in Paradise? Of course, Bachelor in Paradise, right? Because Paradise. <laughs> Right? Well, I feel like I feel like you 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 suffer through Bachelor and the Bachelorette and Paradise is your reward because right. you get to go to Mexico for a month and and if, listen if I want to if I want to sit on the beach and and drink margaritas and eat my my mahi tacos then that's all I really have to do for that entire time that I'm there and uh, and oh oh yeah there's girls here too to talk to oh, yeah. so it's a uh, well with it's that kind of budget like anyone would fall in love right like oh, everything right. Yeah. Of, like right. sexy and I'm serious right. Like when, when I, like when they come back home, going to LA and seeing the homeless and them holding hands, going, walking down, seeing tents, like you're like, this is not the bachelor at all or, or the bachelorette. You know what I mean? Yeah. But you know what I always think too, I'm just throwing it out there and I just need a percentage. Don't you think they need to have a wrestler bachelor or bachelorette? Because yes. like, you know, that wrestlers and, and the divas or knockouts end up dating because they live the same life. They're on the road together. Mm -hmm but they need to have like a dating thing for wrestlers because dating someone normal does, sometimes doesn't get it. And my yeah. boyfriend is, is a, a, works at the hospital and it's a different lifestyle. Good for, you. Good for you. You got your normie. Yeah. We both have normie. Sips. That's a, that's a, um, I'm trying to give his yeah. wrestler name. That's a gender maholism. He said, yeah, I'm dating this girl. She's a civ, blah, blah, blah. And I go, well, what? Civilian. Uh -huh. So I'm married to a civ. Please just take this. But that would, if you guys in the chat room, let us know who you would cast on the show for a wrestling love show. Listen, as Lisa said, the road's a lonely place. A lot of wrestlers end up getting married because it's, it's just, what Lisa said, it's a lot of like understanding the business and things like that. Would you be up for that, Kenny? If, if, if we produce a show that's like wrestling love. What do you think? I'd have to be the bachelor. Yeah. I'd have oh, to be the yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, oh, if I can shift back to so a juicy, to a mark out. Juicy, juicy, juicy. juicy ju yeah, I imagine the, the hookups would be hysterical. But if I can circle back to wrestling for a moment, you guys were mentioning kind of like, you know, giving back to the younger talent. Kenny, who in Impact Wrestling right now? Because again, we are gearing up for that episode. Um, who in Impact Wrestling? has really impressed you as far as like kind of the younger talent or someone that's perhaps a little underrated obviously we have our favorites from our era but i'm talking like the new gen like who who's impressed you and who do you, who do you think's going to really really make their mark on the wrestling world and, and go even further than they are now oh i mean like you've got guys in impact like the next the the young guys uh are absolute dynamite i mean like you've got guys like trey mcgill of the rascals right trey zach outrageous uh athlete athletes amazing pro wrestlers um you got a guy like yuya yuya yuimura who is like uh like i call him sexy hair because he's just like he's 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 like 
you know, he's he's uh, like almost like Tanahashi reborn. Like he's got this amazing uh, aura about him that he's going to be just when he just continues to grow and and, and just get better, he's just going to be amazing. Uh, Kevin Knight. Kevin Knight is a guy that we've been able to get from New Japan. Um, and Kevin Knight is just one of those guys that every time you see him, uh, he's just like, wow, his athleticism, new jump, like <laughs> makes my knees hurt because I'm like, how does a guy jump or, and move that fast? And uh, and of course, I'm going to be biased. My personal favorite, my young Padawan, Chris Bay, uh, the, the ultimate finesse. Uh, Chris Bay is is an absolute star. And as long as he just continues on, he, there's there's no no limit to how good Chris, Chris Bay can be. Yeah, these are all really good yeah. names, and obviously, it's it's fun for us to kind of not like the grizzled or anything, but like to kind of see the younger talent and go, wow, like I can really see something in them. Um, even AEW, I just went to AEW um, here in London. They put on a phenomenal show. MJF and Adam Cole, oh my gosh, they, are, I mean, that's one of the best matches I've ever seen live. They did a great job. Are you currently watching any AEW, WWE, uh, independents around the world? What are you sort of watching wrestling wise, or, or do you not have the time? I, obviously, you're on the road a lot as well. Uh, I'm not watching a ton of wrestling. Like I, like I, I have friends in 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 all promotions, and then anytime that I have some, you know some friends that are that, that are doing something, I try to kind of peek in and just make sure and, and support. Uh, but you know how it goes. Like you, you kind of watch what's like right in front of you, and anything else kind of uh, kind yeah. of fades away. I'm actually watching season three of Warrior. Uh, I don't know if anybody watches on HBO, but Ooh. I love. Warrior. That's what I'm watching right now. Ooh, Lisa, what are you watching right now, wrestling or otherwise? Uh, Let's say otherwise. That's way more fun. With all due respect to wrestling, yeah. You guys know that I'm a, I'm obsessed with paranormal stuff. So you know, I follow um, Project Fear, uh, Twin Paranormal, Josh. What is it called? Josh Adventure Adventures. Adventures with whatever. Okay, I watch a lot of paranormal shit. Um, that's my obsession, and um, I'm I'm like you, Kenny. Like, um, I'll be at a show, then I'll watch it, but at my I think doing it for your whole entire life you need to kind of separate home life and just being accustomed to being home and just doing normal shit do you know what I mean so that's I uh, yeah I I need to do a lot of love homework on my wrestling but you know you know I, I do watch more impact than anything else just because you know Mickey's on it Gail Tommy Dreamer you like most of my old friends are on there Frank Kazarian mm -hmm. you know like yeah and Eddie and like I enjoy it because like I'm I'm so proud of my friends that I grew up in the business with doing so well still kicking ass at their age yeah you know what I mean yeah well obviously you're a man of many many talents visually stunning we already know that so talented and um, above all else one of our friends that we love so much but Kenny any final words to your adoring fans that are watching around the world as you gear up for the 1,000th episode of Impact Wrestling that we're all looking forward to. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm not sure how many of those 1,000th episodes that I've been on, but, uh, <laughs> but I've, I've been, it's been quite a few. Uh, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for the fans. If you booed me, if you cheered me, uh, if you yell K, if you say yell K-I-N-G King, all of that, it's just been an incredible ride. Uh, this is going to be a really big show. It's going to be a great show. I hope that everybody tunes in or or buys tickets. If you're in the New York area, buy tickets. It's going to be it's it's going to be in a, a, a big arena. It's going to be a really big show. Um, you know, it's going to have some amazing matches. It's going to have some amazing uh, guest appearances by some. If you're an Impact fan or a TNA wrestling fan, from the very beginning to to now, uh, it's going to have something for everybody. So I'm I'm really excited to be a part of it. Yay! We're so we're proud of you, Kenny. We're so proud of you. And like, honestly, you are, are not human. Um, you're a machine, and um, I we wish you the best. Honestly, yeah, thank you, thank you, yeah, thank you, honestly. ladies. This was, this was yeah. so much fun. I'm so glad. Yay. I got a chance to we were it. so glad that you could make it, and you are a grown ass man. Wishing you continued success. Mwah. Thanks everyone for watching. Look, links in the description so you can follow Kenny and all of his adventures. Lots of love, Kenny. Mwah. We love you. We love you, Kenny. Bye, thank you. Love you guys. This is the word to go, yo, go.